to worship. God, we've come to praise you with all that we are and with all that we have. Father God, come and abide with your people as we come to abide with you. We come to sit under your, your ruling. We come to submit under you and who you are. And we give you praise and honor and glory. And it is in the precious name of Jesus that we pray. And the church shouts, amen, amen. Come on, give him glory this morning. He is good and he is faithful. Lord, let our praises rise unto you this morning, God. As we gather together as one body, as one church, we glorify you, Lord, with praises and with thanksgiving.
light of the world forever reign. You are more, you are more than my words will ever say. You are Lord, you are Lord, all creation will proclaim. You are here, you are here, in your presence I made home. You are God, you are God. done and accomplished 
all the things that he has done in and through your life. Can you bring him praise? And can you lift up that mighty name of Jesus? Such power, such love, such compassion and mercy and forgiveness and grace that covers over us this morning. Lord, there is no other name like the mighty name of Jesus. There is no other name like the name of Jesus. And we will sing no other name but the name that is Jesus. And we will declare that he is Lord. And we will declare that he is King. We will declare that he has come to bring life and life eternal. We thank you for the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on. We're called to declare that mighty name among the nations. And here we are in the United States of America with this freedom and this grace that has been poured out upon us. So can you exalt the mighty name of Jesus this morning? That is the purpose of why we are here this morning. It's because Jesus, Jesus, says that every nation, tribe, and tongue will confess that He is Lord. There is no denying in who Jesus is. No matter how hard the enemy tries to silence, this morning, that there would be such a sense of freedom to worship, to lift up songs of praises, and to not be silenced by fear or doubt, 
but to be empowered by Jesus who's already overcome. This morning, Father, would you just empower your people with boldness and courage to understand that this life is a temporary life and tomorrow is never promised. So why wait till tomorrow to lift up the name of Jesus when we can do it right here and right now? Jesus, be glorified and be exalted, not just by us here in the United States, but by every nation around the world, Lord. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. And all of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Just in. 
that you are beautiful and that there is nobody like you, Lord. Who else is worthy of praise but no one? Only our God, only our God. We love to bring you praise, Lord. The splendor Stands in time. 
Hallelujah. I invite you this morning to lift up your hands to the Lord. We're living in a time where everything is great and where everything is awesome. Which means that eventually nothing is great and nothing is awesome. These are attributes that we need to keep and we need to preserve for one that is really worthy of them. And really a cheeseburger is not that much worthy of it. Neither is many of the other video games or things that we attribute as awesome. But God is really and truly great. And God is truly awesome. Unfortunately, as we throw these words around, these attributes so easily, we make God to be less than great and less than awesome. We make God common, ordinary, and everyday. And so there is no need to pursue him. There is no need to seek him. There is no need to fear him. There is no need to humble ourselves before him. There is no need to thank him. Because eventually there is a lot of other great and awesome things that we have and enjoy. But I want you to meditate that this morning. Is God truly great? Is God truly awesome? Is God really God? That is a question that you need to answer. And it has to do much with what you are seeking, what you are passionate about, what you praise, what you crave, and what you seek. And I want to challenge you today that many of a time it is not God but the false idols of this world and the things that you have come to love, admire, and worship that have nothing to do with God. I want to challenge you today that there comes a time in your life where you need to cast away these idols. There comes a time in your life when you need to destroy these idols. And it is a time when you are seeking the one true God. And it is a time when you recognize that, that your idols cannot save you. They cannot satisfy you. This is a time to cast them away and to destroy them. And to begin to seek the one true God. Begin to seek the one true God. Father, we just bless you this morning. Thank you, God, that our eyes can behold something that is truly awesome, something that is truly great, something, God, that is above and beyond what human mind can conceive or what human knowledge can invent. You are an awesome God. Your glory fills the earth. Your glory fills at creation. Anything that we marvel at in and this creation is it because of you. You have given it to that glory. You have given it to that glory. And without you, it would be nothing. Meaningless, a void, vain. It is it because of you that the sun can shine. It is it because of you that the stars can give off its light it is because of you and this morning God it is because of you that we can do anything good at all it is because of you that we can do anything worthy at all it is because of you and this morning God we don't want to worship the, the creation we want to worship the creator we don't want to marvel at the creation but we marvel at the one that made it and created it forgive us God if we have sinned against you instead of worshiping the creator 
We have come to worship the creation. Come, O oh Lord, and deliver us from this darkness. Come and deliver us, God, from this ignorance. Come and deliver us, God, from this great evil. And help us to turn our hearts to you and to truly behold what is great, what is awesome, what is glorious. I want to encourage you this morning to worship the one the true God, to exalt the living God. Can you just do that for a moment? Can you just do that for a moment? Can you just do that for a moment? It just requires you opening up your mouth and worshiping him from your heart, from your heart, from your heart. That's what it requires. Go ahead and take a moment. Go ahead and take a moment. Nothing can compare to you, Lord. Nothing can compare to you, Lord. Nothing can compare to you, Lord. You alone are truly great. You alone are truly glorious. Father, we worship you this morning, God. We thank you this morning for Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. We thank you this morning for the one that loved us and gave his life for us. We worship the, the risen Christ. We worship the eternal God. We worship, we worship a Jesus this morning. We worship a Jesus this morning. We bow our knee, we humble our hearts, and we worship a Jesus, the Son of God. Be exalted this morning to Jesus, seated at the right hand of the Father. Be exalted a Jesus and be glorified. Father, this morning we just praise and exalt your name. We have to seat, O oh God, on behalf of the nation of Israel this morning. We intercede against every power, every principality, every work of the devil, every spirit of antichrist, every work of evil that comes against your chosen and your elect. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, arise, O Lord, and be scattered all of your enemies, O God. 
and may your enemies be scattered God those that seek the destruction of your people those that seek the destruction of that chosen vessel of father the people that you have taken for yourself we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would rebuke every power of evil men and every work of the devil we pray for your protection over Israel we pray God that you would deliver them father and that your blessing would come upon them we pray for our leaders God that they would have wisdom and the fear of God that they might know what they should do Lord we pray in Jesus' name that you would have the mercy upon this nation, God, and help us always to do what is right, that this nation might prosper and be preserved also. We bless you now, God, and we trust you, Lord. We pray your blessing over the nation of Israel, and we thank you, God, for the Savior of the world, the King of the Jews. We thank you for Jesus.